on through a friend and we got talking and I told him I played saxophone so we started to collaborate on music together. No, not at all because what I portray in those videos is not necessarily my actual lifestyle. Um, I enjoy performing. Uh, <laughs> Kind of goes with the last question. Um, no, they're not sexist. Uh, they're not asking women to do things against their own will. Um, my role in Sleep Chamber is not to fit into a format, sexual or otherwise. Walden Sleep Chamber, well, I was indoctrinated into Sleep Chamber by my good friend John, who shared with me some uh, cultures that he had experienced, with which I primarily felt quite comfortable. I'd had a uh, varied past in music industry, Boston area, reasonable amount of experience, and I was able to uh, exude competence to Mr. Z Wiz. And uh, we began to do some playing together. We've known each other long enough. It's not like I just bumped into him on the street. We've known each other since Columbus was in school. And uh, we just went into it. My role in Sleep Chamber, well, primarily my role in Sleep Chamber is to play the musical instruments, but uh, my real role in Sleep Chamber is not to have a role. You know, I don't, I don't have to fit into a role, in other words. I'm not uh, some kind of a die-cast mold, in other words. And this whole thing about women being exploited in the videos, the biggest thing I've got to say about it is exploitation can only be exploitation if any type of force is used. In my opinion, I'm not a lawyer, okay? The way I view things is this. If somebody is willingly doing something, automatically exploitation cannot even be the issue. Because to me, exploitation is, uh, is by force. You've got to force somebody to do something they don't want or show something they don't want or act out something they don't want. You know, we're not, uh, there's no reason being twisted here. People are forming a line to be involved in the videos. You know, there's a waiting list. I mean, it's not, I don't even, I don't believe the whole exploitation thing at all, period. Wild things at the shows. What was the wildest thing ever happened at a show? I, I guess all shows are in the running. That if he had a problem, he could consider probably trying to fuck himself as an alternative to fucking with us because you need a fucking prescription to fuck with us. And his underpants had to take a friggin' train to catch up with him. Uh, other times, somebody come up on the stage with a knife. Uh, Betsy likes to come to the gigs because uh, a lot of times people have something wrong where they might have like a thermometer stuck someplace uncomfortable and they need to try and uh, be a hero. But it's not usually uh, acceptable to my terms. Anyway, kill or be killed, uh, judged by 12, carried by 6, any of the silly ass cliches, uh, they all work. Bottom line is, uh, don't fuck with what's not yours. It's pretty cut and dry and pretty straightforward, and I think besides uh, some people that are living in a fantasy world, and uh, they view anybody who's, who's in any kind of a situation that involves entertainment as a demigod, which I prefer not to be uh, in that group, my, my message is very simple. Uh, you know, just live and let live. Everybody enjoy what they're doing, and never mind pointing the finger at who's being sexist, and who's exploiting who, and who's worshipping what, and what cults are what, and language, and no, sorry, cannot even be uh, brought, brought to an issue. Bottom line is my advice to people, uh, fans or otherwise, just enjoy, you know. You know, you're not here for a long time, you're here for a good time. And uh, I think entertainment plays a role, and the thing about it is we've got our views and we've got our ways, and you always get people at PMRC and all, all these other folks who are really into, uh, you know, the censorship thing is really offensive to me because, and who are you? What do you want? You got a problem? Take the, pull the needle off the record, eject the tape, shut the TV, don't read the papers, you know, do whatever you want, be a shut-in. But don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to read, what to write, what to say. Don't tell me what type of films I can watch. Don't tell me what type of records to release or what can be on the covers. Don't tell me not to have women on the stage. You know, it's like the whole, uh, the whole freedom thing for me is a real big, it's a big issue. Don't tell me I can't own firearms. Don't tell me I can't uh, do whatever. I mean, you know, there's limits, obviously. I'm not into uh, hurting other people. I'm personally into living li live and let live. I mean, it's just a matter of uh, respect to other people. I think respect is a big issue with me. I want to respect people, I want them to respect me, and if they don't, that's when problems arise. They need to be rectified. That's the name of that too.
and Uncle John decided to like get all the like fire burning incense started and there was plenty of there was heap of state troopers there <laughs> and I think we were doing our second song and like uh, Officer Friendly said what did he say he said uh, Cut the sh cut the shit. Get rid get rid of the fucking smoke. This place is filled. It was like a big hallway. Rid of the incense. No, it was no, it was a big hallway, and like they said, get rid of the smoke, cut the shit, and plus we're like about two hours overdue because uh, the PA system had dumped like three times and they had blown like every speaker in the place like twice because all these guys were up there being yahoos and I don't know the system the system must have dumped at least twice. So we had these stadies saying, get rid of the smoke. I'm not sure if there's a stadies, the guy managing it said, just get off stage. <laughs> We've had enough's enough, you know? And uh, I was fucking high as a kite, just drinking my full bottle of Jägermeister. And plus another few drinky winkies. <laughs> And, uh, John, whatever you had in that, uh, fucking bowl of incense got me higher than a kite. Cause oh, the oatmeal. Like, yeah, that's, yeah. What was this? Yeah, it was like two feet away from me, and I was like, had my head in the air doing the feedback thing. And while I had my head in the feedback trick, I was getting higher than the kite off that fucking incense. So you, I've joined Sleep Chamber, like, huh. Those, hey, they're fucked. Hey, those guys are fucking the head, man. You know, what the fuck? Yeah, those are the guys with all the videos on huh? They're fucking my head. Sexuality and exploitation. <laughs> Just show us your tits. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, uh, I support the NOW organization. And, uh... If girls want to show that thing, and guys want to show that thing, and... Girls and guy want to show that thing. Just, just, just let them, let it all hang out. See, well, there's only something wrong with the way people perceive a reputation. A reputation is what the populace thinks. If they, you know, like most people think, oh, yeah, like we're into like uh, uh, sex, sex exploitation. Uh, Satanism or whatever. It's just because they're like so stuck in the Billboard Top 40, they don't know their ass from a fucking hole in the wall. They have no idea what's going on. It's like we uh, march to the beat of a different drummer. There, a lot of people uh, just, I mean, I can't blame them. They just have no idea what's going on. You just, you gotta look at it from day one. From the day they're born, the day they're born, to how their parents bring them up, to what schools they go to, and what foods they eat, and what colors they see, and what smells they smell. That determines what's going to happen to them when they get on that age of like, okay, uh, when they're going to be able to be old enough to like determine what's like weird or what's not weird. And you know, if you want to talk to William S. Burroughs about what's weird, or if you want to talk to like Vanna White about what's weird, you're going to get two different fucking ideas. If you get two people, if you tell two people to draw a picture of a tree, you're going to get two fucking different pictures. The use of sexual images is basically, it's an educational experience for anybody that's never had the balls to say, wow, what are they doing? What are we doing? What is happening? I mean, uh, the only thing that separates us from animal is that we have the, we know how to use and control fire and we have emotions and those emotions involve the uh, sexual aspect it's, I mean we all have body parts and a lot of people have no idea what they do or what can become of them or what happens when with what we do it. And uh, I think there's certain people out there that should know what happens you when you do with what you have. <laughs> <laughs> if you got it, flaunt it.
If you don't know what to do with it, forget it. <laughs> The sexual image which uh, is labeled sleep chamber with I inherited with uh, becoming a m member of the band. John created it and uh, I agree with some things, I don't agree with some other things, but I go along and I don't try to change the image. I think it's different and it's good. I don't think that sleep chamber is sexist whatsoever. Um, it's sexual, but not sexist, which is significantly different. And I hate stupid people and ignorant people who don't try to find out anything more about it and just label us as a sexist band. Philosophy of magic and cultism... I'm not very heavy into it. That's John's department. I play with my uh, electronic stuff and uh, let John worry about those things. I I don't really believe too much about. I don't really believe very much into magic and and uh, occultism and uh, cults and the other things. Uh, uh, I know I was. Uh, I grew up in a kind of a traditional r religious family, so uh, some of it is cultivated in my head a little bit, so I have respect for religions, organized religions, which John disagreed completely. It is uh, un unsignificant if I believe or not, but I have respect for it, because uh, regardless if it's true or not, a lot of people believe in it, and uh, you can't call them fools even if you don't believe. I would say a um, few wild things would happen in sleep chamber while I was in there. There was a girl which uh, was actually uh, during the show masturbating on the front row. She was sitting on, on the stage and she was doing it and we could see it and uh, you know, it was, that was quite funny. <laughs> uh, I don't know which song, I, I don't remember what was the, the leaker. I d <laughs> yeah, we called it a leaker because there was a wet spot on the, on the floor after her. I mean, actually not on the floor, on the stage. Um, I don't know to who she was uh, looking at when she was masturbating, maybe John, maybe Jonathan, because uh, that was a show with which Jonathan Browley was with, with us. Talk about it, we, uh, we have fun sometimes and uh, uh, what was that? Styroform, that white stuff. We grind that, that, that stuff into a huge fan and then the whole floor and, and the audience is covered with, by it. And same with feathers, uh, which is not very uh, new, but it still works. People have fun. Sometimes a lot of people complain we use too much smoke, which I agree. Sometimes we use incense, which is... Uh, which. Uh, it's got different things, I'm not going to say what it's got in there because it's a secret, but uh, some people flip over it. <laughs> they get really happy in the front row, which I'm not suggesting anything, of course. I, uh, no, I, people, yeah, somebody asked me if I, if I was in those uh, X-rated videos of Sleep Chamber, but uh, no, I, I don't think I was, uh, unless I don't know about something. <laughs> But I don't think so. Maybe John was in there. He's gonna deny it, of course, or he will be very mysterious and will say, "Oh, I don't know." <laughs> but uh, uh, no, not me. Do I use drugs? Uh, well, I, I'm old right now, and I'm, I'm not as old as John is. I'm not gonna say how old I'm, but uh, I went to my wild stage of, uh, of my life. But right now, just once in a while, not too much, not heavy stuff, just light, light stuff say to John a few things uh, that you know he does appreciate me as uh, the way I am <laughs> we have disagreements I try to work around it but I don't know sometimes he kicks me and I uh, you know I don't like that I work with John